I think that's good enough. Uh, I've roughed out a three foot extension onto the back of this trailer. That makes this trailer as long on the back of the axles as it is on the front of the axles. Um, next time I work on it I'll put two more braces here to match the brace that runs down the center of it here. And then uh, we're going to get some oak planks and floor the thing with oak planks. Uh, I, I started this probably about seven o'clock it's probably a little after nine now so that's enough work for a couple hours uh, I'm gonna go in and call it a day and then we'll come back at this another day but uh, generally I'm pleased with my work for that for that bit of time I could have spent that much time doing drugs chasing wild women or, or who knows you know going out honky-tonking instead I spent it here making my trailer longer nothing wrong with that <laughs> I guess while we're talking about trailers I'll share this with you this is a picture of our first race car, I say the first one, it's the first one we got to the track. We actually built one that never made it to the track. And ours is the one that's not rolling over. It's the one that's going down the road there. Uh, and when we were racing, when we started racing, we didn't have any money. I don't think anybody that races has any money when they start out. If they do, they probably shouldn't be doing it. But, uh, you know, when we first started out, we didn't have any money and I needed a trailer. So I worked in this place where... Uh, it was an old leather tannery up here. They had torn out all the plumbing because the pipes were so rusty that they weren't worth saving. And they said I could have the pipes if I wanted to haul them off. So I, I got in my truck and went down there and hauled them to my house, cut them all up, welded them into roughly a square shape, got the uh, spindles out of a couple of Volkswagen rabbits, actually three sets of spindles, welded those things to those pipes uh, and put wheels on them and found me a couple of old oil tanks cut them apart and welded that down flat for a body and I made a, I made a race car trailer out of that no brakes, three axles uh, a big hunk of metal with wheels on it and we hauled the race car to the track with that thing for oh several years until uh, I got up enough money, I didn't actually get up enough money, somebody gave me a, pieces and parts to build a wrecker out of an old burned up truck and a, a free hand crank wrecker body that somebody gave away so we made progress with that but this thing I'm building out here compared to that is a tremendous <laughs> advancement in technology compared to what we were doing back in the day so anyway I just thought I'd share a little bit of that with y'all y'all have a nice day